Hey Libras, welcome to Vivid Vibration. My name is Christina and we are going to jump right in. We have the Apocalypse, the Nados, the Gem, the Mystic, and the Medallion. Um, Libs, you know, I feel like there's just kind of this like, we've been going through a lot of ins and I feel like there's just kind of been like some things that you've really been having a hard time letting go of. Um, and they, <laughs> sorry, um, there's some things that you're having a really difficult time letting go of and you're, I think deciphering between like what, where your value is in this messy end. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, like, who am I, who am I <laughs> in all of this? And am I going to really be able to go for what I want? Um, you know, because the mystic is just kind of this, like this idea of like a psychic knowing and leaves. I, I feel like you, um, sorry, <laughs> I feel like you guys have this, like this idea of a, of an inner knowing, um, you know, of just kind of like what is going on, um, you know, like what, what's actually happening, you know, like, I feel like there's this, this awareness of, I know, um, I know the reality of what's going on, um, you know, and leaves also, this could be on either side of this. You can be on either side of the story, you know, like take what resonates and leave the rest. I don't like, I feel like I'm having a really difficult time paying attention for, for like this read for whatever reason. Um, and Libras, I feel like maybe that's kind of your energy of just kind of being like, there's just like a lot going on around you. And you're just kind of like, like, I almost want to say you have to trust in yourself because you're just like, there's too many opinions around you. There's too many, there's too much going on around me. Like I, like I, and not, I almost want to say like, and none of it adds up. Like, like what they say, doesn't match what they say, doesn't match what they say, doesn't match what they say. Or what they're doing doesn't match what they're doing. doesn't match what they're doing. doesn't match what they're doing. And you're just kind of like, like you're trying to like find your way through this. Where is the value in all the chaos and how do I get to it? Okay. <laughs> Oof. It's like a little overwhelming. I feel very overwhelmed right now. Leaves, um, you know, like I almost just want to like, like, just, like, stop for a minute and be like, okay, like, like, let's just breathe really quick, you know? Like, it's okay. It's okay. You know, like, it's everything's going to be okay. Just breathe. Breathe. <laughs> um, okay. The Ten of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. Yeah. Um, again, it's this like, I'm going to, I'm going to have to like go at my own direction because what I thought was going to be like rewarding and emotionally fulfilling ended up being something that just left me feeling like I don't know which way is up, which way is out. And I feel like this was in your last read too, leaves of just kind of this fear of love and like having gone through this experience of like, of, of having to really like walk away from a relationship that just left you feeling like, I don't, like, I don't even believe in love anymore. It, and yet, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> leaves um yes you do you're ruled by venus <laughs> like, but you know i mean <laughs> and i feel like this came out in my in my daily poll this morning but it's just kind of this idea of like sometimes you really do have to understand all of the things that love is not to really understand like what it is you know because Love is such a romanticized concept and there's, you know, like there's the old school, you know, like you get married and you work through things and then there's the, you know, like the modern, you know, like polygamy and people who are in, you know, relationships with all different people and, 
do you know what I mean? Like there's just like, there are just like all these different ways that people want to approach relationships and how do you even know which one's the right one? You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's kind of like, like you just kind of go really confused by it all because like, I like whatever this relationship that's ending or this relationship that ended in the past that you were just like, you had to like walk away from it ended from, you know, like left you kind of like wounded with this concept of love. Okay, what else can I get for my leaks? We have the Five of Swords, the World, and the Hierophant, Hierophant. And the King of Wands. Hierophant. <laughs> Hierophant. I say it like a hillbilly. <laughs> um, okay, so anyways, the Five of Swords is just kind of this idea of um, facing these battles. I mean, again, it's just kind of like this, like the end, I almost want to say it's like the end of this mentality or the end of a relationship. It depends on my leaks. For, because for some of y'all, you could be exiting a relationship where it's like, like it's the end of this like backstabbing. I always have to fight. Like that is not what love is. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like drama and dependency and neediness and clinginess and obsession are not love. You know what I mean? That they are not. And I feel like there's this idea of like that has really been how love has played out for you. And it's like there's an end that is coming to this because it's almost like this when you start to really understand when you, I mean, the, the Hierophant, <laughs> the Hierophant is in this deck, especially, you know, the idea of, um, of ever the student, ever the teacher. You know, and it's just kind of this idea of like, the more I learn, the more I understand that there is so much more to learn. And, you know, the King of Wands is somebody who's, you know, they've been through it. They've, they've come out the other side, but they're prepared to, you know, to go to war for something. I don't, I don't know why the, the interview, like, and I haven't seen this in months. I like, since it first came out, there was like a meme that was going around about it. But Drew Barrymore was interviewing Keanu Reeves, and she's like, are you a lover or a fighter? And he's like, a fighter, because if you don't fight for what you love, then, you know, like, then do you even really love? And I feel like there's this idea of, like, fighting for love and, and love that is a battle, love that is a constant fight, are not interchangeable. And Leaves, I feel like you guys confused the idea of, like, a love that you, like, like I'm fighting for you you know, as like a, like, that means I love you, you know, and it's, and it's almost like, no, um, that's not what that means. <laughs> you know, that means that you are obsessed. That means that you have, you know, like an unhealthy um, level of commitment to something that, that you will, you will turn your back on yourself for. That's not, you know, that's not what that is. Um, you know, but like, I feel like there's just kind of like that, that mentality or that experience is coming to an end, which like, whew, thank God, you know, cause that's not fun. That's not a fun energy to be in. Um, yeah, the Empress, the 10 of wands and the eight of pentacles, because it, because again, you know, and I feel like <laughs> when I last read, I think I probably upset some people with you when I was like, it's not, it's not them, it's you, but like also <laughs> You know, like you, and you have the world again, you know, this is twice now. It's just this, like, there's a big end. There's an end, I want to say, to, you know, making it somebody else's problem and not yours. You know, like, you are the company that you keep. The company you keep keeps you, you know. And if you are around people who are constantly fighting you or battling you or being petty or whatever, it's just kind of like, well, why? Why do they feel comfortable existing in that type of behavior? Probably because you exist in that type of behavior. Because you're being competitive. You're being combative. 
combative. You're being petty. You know what I mean? And it's just kind of like, once you really start to recognize your own, like your own, it's not that love is a lie. It's that I have been accepting lies as love. There you have your title. <laughs> Probably not it's too long, but you know what I'm saying? Like, and really stepping into the power of that. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay. <laughs> All right, leaves. Let it, let's do one more card. The mentor. There are two things that I want to say to this. One, like the, it could very well be that you have somebody who you have a lot of respect for, um, that you are friends with, that you like, however this plays out, but like somebody who has really walked you through the process of what, of what's happening. You know, I think sometimes the hardest thing for us to do is see our, our own reality, our own shortcomings like like because we're cyclical learners right and so we have to kind of see it from all of the different angles before it totally makes sense whereas somebody who's not in that cycle can look at it and just like call it spade spade you know what I mean and it's just kind of like okay but but you weren't able to see that so it could be for some of my leads that um you know you have had somebody who's really helped you through this for other of my leads I want to say that you're recognizing that just because you are able to help pick someone up, it does not mean that they will be able to go with you on a, on a journey, right? Like there are people in our lives who we can love very much and, and we can encounter them and they can help us along the way, but that doesn't mean that like now we're we're flying in a flock, right? Like the owl goes off and continue, continues on its way. And I feel like you guys are, are like some of you might just be realizing that like you wanted to help someone along the way and you got them as far as you could, but like you can't carry them. Like, like I can't just carry you for the rest of my life. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like, so you could be the mentor or the mentee, it, you know, take it how it resonates. But either way, um, you know, like I, you're going through a really big transition. And I feel like the biggest part of that is just this realization that like it's like love is not an illusion, um, you know, but it is something that um, you, you dictate your experience. Um, okay. I hope this resonates with y'all. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Please give me a like, share, and subscribe. Uh, also, I am now accepting personal reads. Um, I, they last for an hour. I've been doing personal reads for a couple of years now, and I feel like an hour is a pretty good amount of time to really uncover any issues or concerns, um, you know, and explore the energy of your past, present, and future. Um, so if you are interested in doing that, please click the link in my bio. If this is where we part ways, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Please, please, please give me a like, share, and subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.